The DigiGurdy is an electronic MIDI enabled hurdy-gurdy that's intended to be as affordable as possible as a practice instrument. Hurdy-gurdies are actually ancient instruments dating as far back as the 11th century and the problem with them is that they're very complicated, made of wood by hand by experienced luthiers with waiting lists of up to two years. So before we go any further, what exactly is a hurdy-gurdy? This is a hurdy-gurdy I made initially from a kit designed by someone called Jap Brand. This is one of the more affordable kit hurdy-gurdies and you note that one feature of it is that it's made from laser cut plywood which massively reduces the cost. So if we go along its length we have a hand crank here which turns a wheel which has rosin on it which vibrates strings. You'll also notice that here there's an extra tuning peg which pulls this string sideways onto this vibrating piece which vibrates against the deck. Um, when you crank above a certain speed this string goes unstable and this starts to vibrate forming a buzzing sound against the deck and that's the rhythm section of a hurdy-gurdy which is one of its rather unusual features. We have a key box and you can see these are tangents and they act, they if you like, fret, if you think of a guitar, the strings. So when I started this project as a hobby, I had built my own kit hurdy-gurdy and I decided that, as with bagpipes, they're very loud and quite annoying as a beginner um, to your neighbours. So I thought what would be good would be something like a bagpipe electronic chanter, but designed for a hurdy-gurdy. So that would mean a key box, which was electronic which I could connect to something like an iPad um, running suitable software and allow me to practice with headphones. So the current iteration of the DigiGurdy is this one. Jap Brand is now part of this project officially and it's really a hobby that's gone out of control so I have just started a small business to sell these. Basically we have a crank which still turns a wheel. You can see the wheel rotating there. But this now is something similar to the drum brake of a car. We now have an optical sensor which measures the rotation of um, this wheel. And there is a computer inside which drives this little screen. And you can't quite see it but it lies beneath these. You can see the keys still have the tangents on them after a fashion. But now, if you notice, they're acting on tiny switches here. 